Hello everyone, especially who are interested in art, life and culture, I wondering to share with you the short report of Yuan Ru Gallery, very fabulous gallery. I invite you to visit that. Hello everyone, today is a show in Yuan Ru Gallery. It's a really, really fantastic show. You must come and see that. Have a very wonderful experience. It's really amazing because have a lot of art concept and something that you could enjoy. Coming for that. Thank you. 
<laughs> ah, I miss you in my gallery. You couldn't uh, have a, um, you don't have any chance to come to my gallery in Mercer right now. I've seen you on Instagram. I wasn't sure what down on Mercer Island is. It is community center or something? Uh, no, it's uh, in our address, an island house there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it could be uh, uh, open until end of September. If you have a chance, you, it's new experience. Okay. <laughs> Most of them is a symbolic meaning, and you will be enjoy. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I'll I'll bring up your Instagram and see and figure out the, the timing. Yeah. What really makes sense? Yeah. Like sure. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Are you part and of this collective too? Or? Yes. Actually, hmm. I prefer uh, most of them for women like freedom that you hear so much during the last year for hmm. Iran, and um, with a symbolic yeah. motive from that. But uh, I uh, have a uh, short lecture there too, and I make a video, and you can find it on YouTube too. I sent you the link if oh, you are yeah. interested in. And yeah. I really appreciate it for your opinion as an artist, <laughs> okay. of course. Sherry, would you please uh, share with us about this amazing uh, art show? Thank you. Um, this show is curated by Tamar Alsberg and is part of uh, one of Artma Pop-Ups shows that we've put on. We've had five so far. This one at Plantasia Home Lab is inviting you into an uneasy space, a welcoming space, but a space that has questions. Uh, it talks about time and memories and gives you, leaves you with a lot of questions. Um, and it has about, we are 28 artists and we are very versatile, lots of different types of art and lots of events that we're planning and we're really about making art more accessible and uh, creating lots of events for the community yeah, yeah sounds good actually i saw that it's a, have a really huge variety in this art most of them is based on the ancient art most of them traditional and especially that part that interested for me is a litter uh, uh, room, oh, yeah, house. Yeah. That is tradition with the carpet. Some something so, so amazing. The feminine. We're very interested in in the feminine and the arts. We have 
one piece over here that is about weaving. Uh, we have my piece over here that is, um, there's sewing involved in uh, this scroll, right? And so there's a, a connection to what used to be traditionally female work that was not seen as art uh, that we really uh, dig in and, and sit with when we're making our art. It's definitely something we think about. And it is about bringing those pieces, uh, bringing the fabrics to really tie everything together and make you feel that you're in a home, that you are surrounded with beauty and mystery and memory. Exactly. Feminine and motherhood is really impressive in this uh, uh, collection uh, and nature. Nature have a really good impact here. Thank you so much. And uh, if uh, you have uh, more explanation, please share with us uh, in uh, two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Emma was created in order to support and give opportunities to female artists who are mothers and caregivers. And we work from embracing that, not seeing it as a, a downfall, but actually as something that makes our art stronger and more beautiful. And this show really celebrates that Good aspect. job. Good job. Keep going. Keep Thank going. Uh, hey, hello, Pierre. Would you please explain a little bit about your art here? OK, this is my walnutting series that was inspired by the trees in Lincoln Park in West Seattle. And what specifically excited me about these trees is that they were all on the edge of a cliff. And I love the feeling of the trees growing at angles and also hanging on to the edge of that cliff. And so that was why I chose these, and I used walnut ink, which is a very delicate ink to create these with. And that also, I, what I love about the walnut ink is it, it actually comes from boiling walnuts. And like the trees, it's, it's very natural. And uh, these were also made with water, spraying water, diluting water to get the feeling of a flow and a texture. Um, you know, trees, we don't necessarily think of trees as meaning a flow, but all of nature exists in some kind of flow. So that's my story. Really good. Thank you for sharing. Hello, Julie. Another show in your gallery. Please uh, let uh, us know about that. Oh, yes. Welcome. So this time we have um, a group called Artma. And uh, Tamar Alsberg is a curator. And she brought together 28 female artists. So we have so many different types of artwork. So welcome. And uh, this is my piece, Song to the Moon. And we have a uh, total 28 female artists. We have lots of events coming up, so please welcome to come by. Yeah, sounds good. Fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, Angela. Please let us know a little more about the Bear Red District Art Support. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, I'm Angela, and I'm with the Bell Red Arts District Community Alliance, and I want to welcome you to the Bell Red Arts District. Right now, we're at this beautiful exhibition here, put together by ArtMa at the Young New Art Center. And we're in the Bell Red. So hopefully you can join us um, and learn a little bit more about the Bell Red Arts District. BellRedArtsDistrict.org is our website. And then there's an interactive map as well as a directory for you to discover more. There's theaters, there's a gallery, um, there's pottery, there's dance, arts education, and more. Please yeah. join us. And Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a chance to visit this gallery. And I wanted to thank you, Julie, Dr. Julie, that operating this gallery. She's a very fabulous host. And I strongly recommend you to come and visit this fabulous gallery. I hope you enjoy it as me. 
and additionally uh, saturday and sunday in yuan ro gallery art ma performance the dance fabulous dance that you would be enjoy and i will be there too